Yo, what's going on guys? Your boy BD here back on the Madden 16 and today, I feel like I said 16 and weird there. But anyways, uh, we are jumping into the next play out of the single bag bunch ace out of the Carolina Panthers offensive playbook. Broke down another uh, play in there yesterday. Absolutely amazing. It's like PA end around of this year. It's pretty, it's pretty, pretty cool play. Um, so this is out of the Carolina Panthers offensive playbook. I broke down the other formations, a bunch of other formations. So go to the play, go to the channel, check out the playlist and all the playlists are named after the formations they broke down with the plays inside of them. And this play you guys have seen before if you've been around. Um, it's called Panthers Go. Panther Goes. Panther Goes. What a weird name. Um, but this is the same thing as the verticals out of Gun Bunch Week. There's two setups. Same exact setups out of Gun Bunch Week. But I might as well show you guys that they still work out of this formation. First setup, all you want to do is drag your B receiver. You just want to hit Y or triangle. Y or, or I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Okay, we start over. Scratch it. Y or triangle, B or circle, and then down on the right stick. And then you got your dragged B receiver. So we're just going to snap the ball, and we're just going to wait. And we're going to get sacked because I'm a douche. Um, hold on. Okay, okay, I promise here. I promise I was just being dumb. So we're going to drag our receiver. We're going to step back, and we're going to dump it off to our drag because our drag is what was open right there. Usually you snap the ball, you're looking at your RB receiver while they wheel up around because they're going to get open in that seam sometimes. So you snap the ball, you're looking at the wheel, then you're looking at the drag, then you're looking at A, and then you're looking back at the drag, and then you're looking at Y, and then you're looking at X for one-on-one -on -one situations. You're looking at RB on one-on-one -on -one situations because, you know, one-on-one -on -one situations, more than likely they're going to come down with it. So let's just let's just test it. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Of course. Of course they're actually going to play, but you guys know how this how this year is. Um, the, and a lot of the times, you know, probably about eight out of the ten times you throw it up. Whoever you're throwing it up to is probably going to come down with it if they have a decent spec catch and jump rating. So you just want to drag that B receiver, like I said. You're going to snap the ball, and we are going to hit the drag right because we had a crazy blitz screaming off the left edge right there. We're going to juke to the inside, and again, it's going to be able to rack us all the way down to, what was that, the 30? That was a pretty good play right there. So we're going to snap the ball again, and we are again going to be forced to dump it off to the drag route. And I promise that this isn't just like, hey, it's a drag route. It's always open because sometimes the drag route is going to be covered. You know, the drag route is open a lot this year, but, you know, it is going to be covered. And when that happens, we're going to have to hit A over the top. And this is going to be a situation where we're going to be able to hit A over the top because number 55 uh, pulled down. I forget his name, like Wally Whirl, Whirl, whatever. He was a rookie last year, I'm pretty sure. Um, so let's just drag our B receiver again, and this time we're actually going to hit our B in the uh, in the seams down over there by the numbers, and we're going to get a nice gain right there. To do that, you just want to, sometimes you have to bullet pass and lead to the right, sometimes you have to lead to the left. That time we had to read to the right because someone was on the left. Now, okay, if we could just, if we could, if we could just, boom, okay. So uh, we see that there's a guy to the left in the seam, um, so we want, number 20, he, so we want to lead this to the right, so we want to hit right on the left stick and then that's going to make greg olson peer to the right you see that he's running straight and then we hold left or we hold right on the left stick and then he's going to go off that way out of the way of number 20. so he's not going to be able to make a play on it we're going to get down to the 40 yard line nice little gain right there so let's just drag the receiver again and we're also going to have our a open across the middle like i've shown you guys and your y is open a lot if they don't have to pick up a block see right here we're going to take a little check down and we're going to be able to rack it for a nice amount of yards and Jonathan Stewart is going to, you know, fall forward, kind of, sort of, you know, break off, almost break off a tackle and uh, get us uh, almost a 15-yard gain, actually. So this time we're going to drop back, nice blitz coming in. So we're going to dump it off to the drag route. And, wow, good blocks, Calvin Benjamin, Jesus Christ. And that's really it for that setup. I'm just going to run it one more time and show you guys what's Gucci. Boom, we got our B receiver open. I waited a long time for him to get a lot of separation. You don't always have to do that. That's how I waited to the very end because he was just getting more and more separation as time went on. So let's break, or let's uh, go off into the second setup. And all you're going to do is out route your RB or your R1, which for whether you're on Xbox or PlayStation. Do that, you want to hit Y or triangle RB or R1, and then right on the D-pad, and boom, you got yourself an out route. And all you're going to do is snap the ball away from the break and hit him whenever he's open. Okay, he's open right there. Let's hit him. That RB route is open like 100% of the time. I lied, like 90% of the time. The only time they're not is whenever that cornerback over there on the right side is in a flat zone. That's literally the only time that that is ever covered. Or if they manually man up the cornerback on that side with him. Other than that, that RB route is literally always open. It's always good for a few amount of yards. It just depends on when you hit it. Sometimes you have to hit it right away. Sometimes you have to wait. Like right there, we had to hit it earlier because number 52 was playing the wheel route. Um, so that means we had to hit it earlier before he ran over there. Same thing right there, Desmond Trafant. Uh, Desmond Trafant was actually in a flat right there. And sometimes the flat isn't going to play it. Sometimes the flat will play RB. Sometimes they won't. 
Um, if they play RB, you can hit the wheel route unit B. If they uh, play B, you're going to hit RB. And sometimes you're going to have to hit A as they break across the top. Sometimes you're going to have to hit Y if everything is covered. And sometimes you're going to have to hit X in the one-on-one -on -one situation. Um, you can also motion out your X receiver, and they'll get a little speed boost if you snap it right before they set themselves. Um, I'll show you guys that right now. So you just want to motion them out, and then we'll snap the ball. And actually, it didn't let me for some reason. Maybe it doesn't work in practice mode. But you just motion that guy out, and then like as soon as he sets, you snap the ball. And it's not like a crazy speed boost like it used to be post-patch, but he gets a little bit of a speed boost, enough to call it a speed boost at least. Um, so right there, the corner, that was looked like it was man coverage, so the cornerback definitely covered him. I want to get to a situation where B is going to be open. Um, see right there, B is going to be open. And we're going to be able to hit him in uh, like a like the little purple zone, and we're going to be able to just rack it right for a touchdown because Ted again broke off one tackle. And that was the end of it. No one, no one else was even there. So that time, you know, we got a huge launch, and that's going to happen sometimes, and I threw that way late because of it. I just wasn't expecting it. And you guys are going to see what I mean. And the better the route running, the more often this is going to happen. So you're going to see Greg Olson is literally just going to immediately turn, which is going to happen the better the receiving tight end is. Uh, Greg Olson is a good receiver. He's not that good of a route runner. So if you have, like, really good receiving tight ends, that's going to happen sometimes where they're just going to immediately launch off that. And because we weren't expecting it, number 21, Desmond Trufant actually had a chance at putting a play on the ball because we should have been throwing it right there. I just wasn't expecting him to break as fast as he did, which is, which again, is going to happen sometimes. And also, like I said, sometimes you're going to have to hit A over the top. And that was actually a pretty good pass, but 32 just ended up playing the ball very, very well. Um, he definitely wasn't in position to intercept it. But he was uh, in position to knock the ball away. Um, but I do want to be able to hit A once to show you guys that that definitely does get open. And this is not a situation where it gets open. Actually, RB is literally butt naked. Um, but I do want to try. I'm going to run it one more time. And if I can't hit A, you know, all is well. I'm just, oh, here we go. We're going to be able to hit A in man coverage. Boom. We hit him, and he dropped the ball because he's a backup tight end. That's just what's going to happen. Um, but if you guys like the video, give it a like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on Twitter. It's going to be down in the description below. And as always...